royal family made little attempt to make Meghan and Harry stay. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry did not face many attempts to persuade them to stay on the royal front line by their family members, a royal biographer has claimed. Meghan and Harry officially left their lives as senior royals behind six months ago after first announcing their dramatic decision back in January. In between their bombshell Instagram post declaring their plan and their final set of royal engagements. The couple had to negotiate the terms of their departure with the other senior royals. While Meghan jetted back to Canada to be with the couple's young son Archie, Harry attended the Sandringham summit with Prince William, Prince Charles and the Queen. But, according to co-author of Finding Freedom, Amid Scobie, the other royals did not attempt to persuade Harry to stay on the royal front line. In an interview with the Royal Beat TV, the biographer said, I don't think there was really much attempt to make them stay. The couple's announcement allegedly infuriated many behind palace walls, as few had known about their plans before they were made public. Mr. Scobie said William, in particular, struggled with their stunning news. Speaking in August, he said, that it put family business out into the public domain when it should have been discussed privately and there was a lot of hurt there that continues to this day. The commentator explained, Williams. Not just the brother, he's also the future king and he felt that damaged the reputation of the family. Mr. Scobie also suggested the relationship with Kate and Meghan never really progressed that far, which would explain why the Duchess of Cambridge did not attempt to persuade the Sussexes to stay as royals. He said, if I'm being honest, and that's highlighted throughout the book. The relationship between Meghan and Kate really never progressed that far. Meghan felt there wasn't much effort made on Kate's side to look after her during some of the darker moments, particularly during her pregnancy. Additionally, Finding Freedom claims that after their last royal engagement with the other senior members of the firm, the Commonwealth Day Service, Meghan's mind was made up. A friend told Mr. Scobie and his co-author Carolyn Durand, Meg just wanted to get home. At that point. She couldn't imagine wanting to set a foot back into anything royal again. The televised service was seen as evidence relations between the Sussexes and the Cambridges had deteriorated to the point where they were barely speaking, with the couples rarely exchanging a glance with one another. However, Mr. Scobie's comments overlooked the Queen's decision to give the couple a trial period after the Sandringham summit.